What's going on, Warriors? Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday. I'm Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. This is where we discuss relevant topics that will aid you in becoming a better warrior. Today's topic at hand is going to be taking risks and how to properly take risks so that we can get what we want out of life. Grab life by the freaking balls and take charge, take control, take action the right way. You know, there's a right way and a wrong way to take risk. There's a right way and a wrong way to take action in life. You don't want to go out there and blindly take a bunch of risks because that opens you up and exposes you to a lot of problems, to a lot of losses, to a lot of failure. But when we can learn the art of risk mitigation, when we can learn the art of taking calculated risks, we can thusly open ourselves up to a lot of success. You know, we talk a lot about mission planning on this channel. We talk a lot about patience, the philosophy of staying on a steady track to get what we want. But sometimes we just got to take action. Sometimes we just have to take the risk and go for it. Nike won one that mother flower and do it. Taking action and taking risk is what separates the men from the boys. And it certainly separates the men from the women. Obviously, we all know women are risk adverse as a general rule, and men are genetically predisposed to taking risk. But calculated risk is the name of the game here. You think James Bond goes around and just blindly knocks down doors and kicks things in that he has no idea where he's going? Or do you think he takes a calculated risk? Cool, calm, collected. But when it's time to go... He goes and he takes that risk and it always pays off. Obviously, that's the movies. But now let's think about it. It's like a elite, highly trained SEAL team or Delta team or something like that, right? Everybody loves talking about that shit. Do you think they just randomly go into houses, kick down doors and like hope that the bad guys are in there to kill them or like hope that the hostages are in there to rescue? No, there's a lot of planning that goes in before that. There's sometimes days, sometimes weeks of planning, 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 rehearsals, rehearsals, risk mitigation strategies. What do I stand to win versus what do I stand to lose? Do you think that when CIA operations go down that it's not something that's been planned and planned and planned? I mean, everything down to the surveillance detection routes are planned and planned and planned. And it takes many people and many hours of planning these things. I mean, contrary to what people believe, this type of thing is never done on a whim. Now let's take it to the Wall Street guys, right? Why do so many day traders fail? Like they say probably about 80%, 80 plus percent of day traders fail in the markets. Why? Because they're going and taking uncalculated risks. They're going and they're not doing their planning. They're not doing their research. They're mar not marking off their levels and saying, I have a plan. This is my plan, A, B, C. I'm going to stop out here, blah, 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 right? Anybody who's ever tried that knows what I'm talking about. But people who take calculated risks, people who are patient, let the setup come to them. But when that setup comes, they take action right away. They take that risk because they know it's a calculated risk. They know exactly how much they stand to lose versus how much they stand to gain. And they know that they stand to gain more than they stand to lose. So they take that action right away. That is the action. That is the proper risk strategy that I am endorsing here. This can be applied to all areas of our life. We do have to be patient. We do have to wait for the right opportunity to come to us a lot like hunting, whether you're hunting an animal or a man. This is the way of risk mitigation, not overexposing ourselves to too much loss, but sometimes we need to take a slightly bold action in order to profit. The word here is calculated risk. When we've weighed our chances for failure and success and calculated that even if we lose, we stand to win more than we stand to lose. 
this is when we can take that risk and do it, go do it. Don't even think too much about it. You know, we learn in combat. I learned in combat training that again and again, and again, I've learned this, but specifically in leading in leading troops, you know, a lot of the times things happen fast and taking that action is better than taking no action. So you're going to be right or you're going to be wrong, right? It's like going and playing roulette. Any of you guys have ever done that, especially if you play the outside colors, right? But you put it on red or you put it on black. One of them's going to hit. Well, hopefully, <laughs> you've got that like slight chance that it might might go on the double zero or the zero, right? You can go left. You can go right. All right, my team's getting ambushed. What do I do? Do I bound back or do I push them forward? One of the answers is right. One of them is wrong. But staying in the kill zone is going to get you fucking killed, right? Taking risk is what a warrior does. And yes, when things come at you fast, you just have to make the decision and hope that you're making the right one. Do I cut the blue cord, the red cord, or the white cord? But if you've been doing what you're supposed to do, planning, marking off your waypoints, everything we always talk about here that we take from combat training, from everything that makes the military so successful and applying that to our lives to live as a warrior does. If we've been doing that, we should be in an optimal position to take a calculated risk every now and again and grab success and bring it to us. Like grabbing somebody by the freaking collar and bringing them into us, right? Sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to grab the opportunity, pull it into you and headbutt it and take that motherfucker. But taking action is when all of the planning and thinking and scheming has the opportunity to pay off. We can apply this even in dating. I'm sure the guys who have ever looked into like pickup arts or anything like that have heard of the three second rule. You see a cute girl walking down the street. You've got three seconds to decide, am I going to go for it or am I going to let it pass? Cute girl, one, two, three. Oh, hey, excuse me. Hi, what's your name? I'm Will. Great to meet you. You're cute. I want to say hi. That's that's how it is. That's That's how success is born and bred. This could apply to anything. I just use these things as examples, but sometimes we got to take that risk. So remember, guys, don't be afraid to take a calculated risk, but don't go out there like a maniac spraying and praying and be stupid about it. When we do that, we expose ourselves to too much loss. But when we've done everything that we need to do and we've been diligent about our operation, the operation that is life. We can take that risk and we can profit from it. Until next time, guys, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. Thank you so much for tuning in to these Warrior Wednesdays. Any of you guys who actually watch these videos, especially on a regular basis, I got a lot of respect for you. Most people want to see uh, me demonstrate hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques and things like that and just say, oh, that's cool. Or like, oh, I know more than him, like, or whatever, right? But you guys who actually study this stuff and are diligent about it, well, you are the true warriors out there. Don't forget, gutterfightingsecrets.com is our website. We got cool t-shirts. We got um, online training available for you guys at a fucking awesome price. And we got all kinds of stuff up there. Just go and check it out. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't already. It means a lot. Every subscription that I get pushes, up, up, pushes us up in the algorithm. So does every thumbs up and so does every comment. Let's make a community of like-minded warriors, guys. Let's help the world one person at a time. Catch you next time, mother flowers. Cheers.